In the United States, presidential elections aren't just about who gets the most votes overall. It's a state-by-state -state battle to win something called the Electoral College. Each state gets a certain number of electoral votes based on its population. To become president, a candidate needs to win a majority of these electoral votes. Now, here's where things get interesting. Most states consistently vote for one party or the other. We call these safe states. But a handful of states are less predictable. These are the swing states and they can swing the election in either direction. Why are these swing states so important? Because they hold a disproportionate amount of power in deciding who becomes the leader of the free world. Think of it like this. If you're playing a game of basketball and the score is tied in the final minute, every possession, every shot becomes crucial. That's what swing states are like in an election year. So, what do you think? Why do you think these swing states are so important in American politics? Throughout American history, swing states have played a pivotal role in determining the outcome of presidential elections. One of the most famous examples is the 2000 election between George W. Bush and Al Gore. The entire election hinged on the outcome in Florida a state with a large number of electoral votes and a razor-thin margin between the two candidates. After a recount process that went on for weeks and involved the Supreme Court, Bush was declared the winner of Florida by a mere 537 votes, effectively winning him the presidency. Another example is the 2016 election, where Donald Trump's victories in several key swing states, including Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin, propelled him to victory over Hillary Clinton. These states, which had traditionally voted for Democratic candidates, flipped to Trump by narrow margins, highlighting the volatility of swing states and their ability to upend expectations. The historical significance of swing states underscores their importance in American politics. They are the battlegrounds where elections are won and lost, and their influence on the presidency cannot be overstated. Which historical election do you think was most significantly impacted by a swing state? Why? Fast forward to today, and the importance of swing states hasn't diminished one bit. In fact, with the country as divided as ever, these states are even more crucial in determining who occupies the White House. So which states are we talking about? While the list can fluctuate slightly from election to election, some of the most consistently contested swing states include Pennsylvania. With its 20 electoral votes, Pennsylvania is a major prize in any election. Florida. The Sunshine State, with its 29 electoral votes, is always a nail-biter. Michigan. Another Rust Belt state with 16 electoral votes up for grabs. Wisconsin. Often considered a bellwether state, Wisconsin carries 10 electoral votes. Arizona. Once a Republican stronghold, Arizona has become increasingly competitive with 11 electoral votes at stake. These are just a few of the states that will be fiercely contested in the upcoming elections and where the candidates will be focusing their time, money and message. Which of these current swing states do you believe will be the most influential in the next election? Share your thoughts. So, we know swing states are important. But what do candidates actually do to try to win them over? It's all about tailoring their message and strategies to appeal to the specific concerns and values of voters in these states. Candidates spend months, even years, cultivating relationships with voters in swing states. They hold rallies, town halls, and meet and greets to connect with voters on a personal level. They also flood the airwaves with television and radio ads, blanketing these states with their message. But it's not just about showing up and making promises. 
Candidates also conduct extensive polling and data analysis to understand the issues that matter most to swing voters. They use this information to craft their policy positions and campaign rhetoric in a way that resonates with these voters. How effective do you think these campaign strategies are in swaying voters in swing states? Do they really make a difference? Or are voters' minds already made up? Section 5. The Ground Game Campaigning in the Key States Winning over voters in swing states is like a giant game of chess, and candidates need to be strategic about every move they make. One of the most important aspects of this is the ground game, the on-the-ground organizing and voter outreach that takes place in the months and weeks leading up to Election Day. This involves recruiting volunteers, knocking on doors, making phone calls, and registering voters. It's about building relationships with voters, addressing their concerns, and ultimately getting them to the polls. A strong ground game can make all the difference in a close election, especially in swing states where the margins of victory are often razor thin. It's about mobilizing supporters and persuading undecided voters, one conversation at a time. How much emphasis do you think campaigns should place on the ground game versus other strategies like advertising or social media? Section 6. The media's glare swing states under the microscope. As election day approaches, all eyes turn to the swing states. The media descends upon these states, covering every twist and turn of the race with an intensity that can be both exhilarating and exhausting for the residents. Every poll is analyzed. Every campaign stop is scrutinized and every utterance by the candidates is dissected for its potential impact on swing voters. The constant media attention can be overwhelming, but it also highlights the importance of these states in the grand scheme of the election. How do you think the media's focus on swing states impacts the election process? Does it give these states too much power, or is it simply a reflection of their importance? Section 7 predicting the unpredictable, the role of polls and pundits. In the run-up to an election, everyone wants to know who's going to win. Pollsters conduct surveys and crunch numbers, while pundits offer their expert opinions and predictions. But with swing states, predicting the outcome is often more art than science. Polls can provide a snapshot of the race at a particular moment in time, but they are not crystal balls. They are subject to margins of error, and they can be influenced by a variety of factors, including the wording of questions, the sample size, and the timing of the poll. Pundits, on the other hand, rely on their knowledge of history, politics, and human nature to make their predictions. But even the most seasoned experts can be wrong, especially when it comes to the unpredictable nature of swing state voters. Do you trust polls and pundits to accurately predict the outcome of elections in swing states? Why or why not? Section 8. The future of swing states. Will they always hold the key? As we look to the future, it's worth asking whether swing states will always hold the same level of influence in American presidential elections. Some argue that the country is becoming increasingly polarized and that the number of truly persuadable voters is dwindling. Others point to demographic shifts and changing voting patterns as evidence that the electoral map is in flux and that new swing states may emerge in the years to come. Only time will tell what the future holds for swing states. But one thing is for sure. As long as the Electoral College remains the system by which we elect our presidents, these states will continue to be battlegrounds that demand attention, resources, and a deep understanding of the voters who call them home. Do you think the concept of swing states will still be relevant in the decades to come? What factors might lead to their continued importance or eventual decline? Section 9. Your voice, your vote. Get involved and make a difference. Swing states matter. That much is clear. But they're not some abstract concept. They're made up of real people with real concerns and real hopes for the future. And in these states, every single vote has the power to make a difference. So, what can you do? and make your voice heard on election day. Register to vote. Get informed about the issues. 
and be an active participant in our democracy. Talk to your friends and family. Volunteer for a campaign. We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts on the importance of swing states in the comments below. And be sure to take our survey to tell us which issues matter most to you in this election. Your voice, your vote. It all